Gorgeous. Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel. <laughs> <laughs> Explain it's where so we are. It's so heavy. Try it. Is it filming now? It's filming. Oh, wow. All right, give us, the, uh, give us a rundown of where we are, what we're doing. <laughs> Hi. We're on a food, food tour. Uh-huh. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I'm in downtown Split again and met up with my friend Dino. Dino runs Split Food Tours. Dino, what's in store for us? Well, we got some delicious food waiting for us with a sprinkle of history. <laughs> also, I got some new sunglasses. Do you like these? <laughs> Look at his. <laughs> and don't girls buy glasses? <laughs> Let's go eat some food. <laughs> In the last episode from here in Split, we got a quick taste of local food. But I want to dive deeper into the Croatian cuisine along the coast, so this afternoon we're jumping into one of Dino's Split food tours. And it all begins literally inside the walls of Diocletian's palace for some champagne and a few quintessential appetizers. First stop, we're starting out with some meats. What do we got? This is Dalmatian prosciutto from one village close to here. What's special about it is requires uh, bura wind. Wind? Wind. Bura wind is quite dry wind and... In Buda, it's a, a place close by, right? It's like 60 kilometers or something from 60 here? 60 kilometers, it's called Dernish. You told me off camera, I, I sound like a professional, don't I? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like 60 kilometers, I think, from here. 55 to be 55 precise. to be exact. <laughs> this one melts. This one absolutely melts and he cuts it so thin mm -hmm. and it's just absolutely you put it in your mouth and it's like a meat listerine strip do you know what listerine strips yeah i know you know listerine strips oh yeah this is like a meaty that's, listerine that's strip. a good way to put it actually <laughs> it's gone and your breath afterwards <laughs> amazing meaty. <laughs> oh go it came from the island of brock okay which is just here across split we had a lot of goat cheese in istria Oh, yeah. and some of it got very funky. No, this is like, like almost like feta. This is very, very light. soft. Like a mix between feta and mozzarella. Mm. It breaks mm. apart. It's, that is very mozzarella in, in how soft it is. Mm. But very light. And the last thing? Last thing is panceta. So that's Dalmatian bacon. <laughs> Look at that. They call it. Little thin piece of meat there, but just beautiful, beautiful fat. What is it? Come on. Don't let it go. So this is a very traditional starter, right? So, is it a family here? Uh -huh. uh, this is what you get. Meat and cheese. Meat and cheese. And do you know, actually, I, I read it the other day. Tell me. <laughs> tell me, do you know? I read it. Was, I read something the other day. So there was a map of Europe. Uh -huh. How likely are you going to get offered food when you come with it? Yeah. Croatia was ranked number one. Really? In 90% chance that you're gonna get offered food when you come visit somebody and most oh, likely it's gonna be this most likely prosciutto cheese panceta there's no warmer welcome than a meat welcome mm. <laughs> <laughs> or eat this and that's what she said <laughs> Here at our second stop, and they serve only Adriatic food, only the best. And Nothing imported. Nothing imported, fresh Adriatic fish, lobsters, everything. And the name? It's Leonis. 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 And we're right here in the center, right in the old town. Let's go in for stop number two. Starting things off with octopus salad. I know it sounds weird, octopus salad, but it's quite delicious actually. That's actually very delicious. It's light, fresh, served cold. It's served cold. Honestly, sometimes the octopus can get a little chewy, and this really is mm -hmm. very soft, delicate, little olive oil on top, crushed up red onions and tomatoes. Delightful. All right, Dino, next up, talk to me. So this is our second course at this place, and this is called black risotto. Black risotto is? Yeah, a black risotto is a risotto made of a cuttlefish and cuttlefish ink. I know it doesn't sound <laughs> appealing, but it's actually quite delicious. And is this rice? It's rice and cuttlefish meat with cuttlefish ink, which makes it black, right? Look at that. Looks like tar, but it tastes way better. <laughs> Looks like tar, it tastes like heaven. I don't know how tar tastes though, but... Yeah. Wow. I'm just gonna... I, I, Get in there, I, yeah. I, I love it and I'm gonna... Mm. 
It really is so good. Not the strongest fish flavor. I'd say the closest resemblance would be maybe scallops. It has an mm -hmm. um, umami flavor to it, but not overpowering. Mm -hmm. You think this would be just crazy overpowering just because it does look like death. <laughs> but it tastes like life. Or close. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Often mistake people think it's a squid ink and they say it's squid ink and it's squid, but no, it's actually cuttlefish. Cuttlefish meat is much thicker and much, cuttlefish much meatier than a squid ink. Oh, egg. okay. And there's a little piece of cuttlefish in cuttlefish there? Cuttlefish in it. That is actually very nice. Different. And is this traditional Croatian it's dish? A traditional Croatian dish. Not really? Not really. <laughs> More Italian? More Italian. I mean, they're brothers. Italians ruled here for 400 years. So, so essentially, it's a dish from this land. Adriatic. There we it's go. It's Adriatic dish. <laughs> Only downside to the black risotto is it makes your teeth black. Do I have it? <laughs> a little bit. Is it bad? Don't worry, it doesn't last too long. <laughs> Moving on to our next spot now, and we're walking through Diocletian's basement. This is where that famous scene where Khaleesi's dragons were held. Look at these outfits. This is Diocletian's outfits right here. Look at these. Are you actually filming now? <laughs> Go, give an oh example. Oh my god, do you want like this? Yeah, want, wait, but this way. Gorgeous. Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel. <laughs> <laughs> Explain it's where so we are. It's so heavy. Try it. <laughs> Is it filming now? It's filming. Oh wow! All right, give us the, uh, give us a rundown <laughs> of where we are, <laughs> what we're doing. Hi. We're on a food food tour. Uh huh. For our third stop, we step outside the palace walls as the alpine swifts go crazy overhead for a quieter local neighborhood and a traditional Croatian tavern, or Konoba. All right, next up, this is stop number three. Dino, where are we at? This is Konoba Kod Jose, which means in English, at Jose's. Jose, is that a, is that a Croatian name? Jozo is, but a Jose. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to Jose's. <laughs> All right, Dino, third stop, and it looks like we've upgraded the uh, hardiness of our cuisine. What is oh, this? Oh, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> this one makes you full. So this is pastizzada. Pastizzada. Very good, yeah, pastizzada. This is an authentic Dalmatian dish. Okay. You wouldn't find this anywhere else in the world or even in Northern Croatia. Okay. It's a beef uh, beef dish. Yeah. Uh, and the uh, thing is, you gotta prepare it for two days. Really? Just yeah. slow roasting it, is that what it is? No, it's actually no. <laughs> no, actually not. No, actually not. <laughs> no, not night before you get a big piece of meat uh -huh. and you stuff it with garlic, carrots, and everything. Okay. And you let leave it to marinate overnight. Uh huh. Next morning you prepare it. You make the sauce and everything. But there's a key ingredient in it, and it's plums. 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 Okay. It gives it a sweet and a savory taste. Just by the looks of it, this doesn't seem like a summertime dish to me. You know, this seems like you curl up by a fireplace. To try uh, this. A little bit. <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> but it's still delicious. Uh, summer, winter, doesn't matter. Whoa. No. I was looking at this just thinking, all right, this is just going to be pot roast. But that gravy has that sweetness to it. Now that you gave it away, oh, it's plums. Plums. A, a vinegar, an acidic base to it that I've never had before and mm. served up with these gnocchis. And so, what's the thing about this place? Uh, he doesn't change his stuff. The chef working here has actually been working here for 29 years. 29, and 29 years. So, it's gonna be good. <laughs> and it seems like we're in the basement of some fairy tale location. Yeah. Like it seems like we've discovered this in the middle of the forest. It feels like a pub, like a, almost like a Warm yeah, right. British pub. Because that's how they started. Konoba started by pouring just wine. Uh -huh. It was a wine cellar. Then people start to drink wine there. Yeah. They start to sell wine there and then eventually... I can eat something. Oh, you can eat something. Konoba. Stop three. But yeah, I, I mean, this is something I want to sit down by a fireplace with a good book and you eat this and then you take a long nap, maybe with a nice whiskey. But this, in June or July, 
and then getting on a boat and taking my shirt off. Aggressive. Aggressive. <laughs> Still tastes good. <laughs> But it sure does taste good. <laughs> Joey, Joey, Joey. <laughs> Next up, of course, a customary stop. You wouldn't be in Croatia if we didn't feature a few truffles, am I right? I mean, you gotta have some truffles, man. <laughs> you gotta have some truffles. We had a lot of truffles in Istria, but I mean, there's no wrong time to have truffles. I don't think there's a wrong time to have So we're gonna stop, have a couple of truffle chips, and then keep moving. Especially when they're this cheap like they're here in Croatia. <laughs> yeah, this is the cheapest I'll ever have. I, I know, right? So, usually. And in this location, they found the biggest white truffle in history, right? So yeah, the owner of this place, he's in a Guinness Book of World Records with the biggest white truffle ever found. So 1.5 kilos, uh -huh. and they actually offered him same amount in gold for that truffle. And he didn't take it? No, he ate it. <laughs> he ate it instead. With his friends, of course. <laughs> yeah, I gotta have friends, but yeah, he didn't want to sell it. It's yeah. a good friend, a very good friend. <laughs> That's okay. I don't have to always have one. Alright, which one should I choose? This is my favorite. This is white truffle? Yeah. With and yours too? Really? Yeah, really nice. What kind is it? White truffle with? White truffle with the cheese, green. And that's where it's at? It's delicious. You don't even need gluten when it's this good. <laughs> truffle chips. <laughs> I mean, I've never turned a truffle chip. But. Never in my life. But in here in Croatia, you can put truffle on in, oh, cool. on, or on. How about truffle chocolate? You have truffle chocolate? Have you tried it? No. <laughs> you gotta try it after. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, truffle chip. The truffle chip. Take one. Take one. Pass it around. You gotta say that's truffle. Eh? <laughs> wow. <laughs> that is a bunch of truffle. They're not getting around with the truffle. Holy cow. What's the weirdest thing you've ever put truffle on? Oh, this one, this thing is the weirdest for me. Try this. This is please. now we're just getting out of control now. Try, try this. Oh, wow. This is just. <laughs> I'm going to do it with you. You're going to do it with me? Yeah. All right. I'll take my own yeah. though. That's oh. all right. <laughs> <laughs> really? You don't trust me to truffle you? <laughs> Julie. Julie. The truffle. Mm. That's a good combination. Dobra combinacja. Dobra combinacja. Dobra, Dobra combinacja. <laughs> Salt and truffle. <laughs> that actually is really good. Mm, really nice. Right? That shouldn't be good. Yeah, like salted yeah, dark chocolate yeah. with a little kick of the forest. A little bit of fun with it. A little bit of fun. <laughs> Have some fun with the fungies. <laughs> Alright. We can just truffle all day. We gotta keep moving. Yeah. Alright, stop number four. And Dino, you know, tell it us. It is a Burek place. Burek. And we've been having burek every stop of the way, and I haven't got sick of it yet. It is the quintessential. It is the quintessential. It is a bit late, actually, for burek. It's kind of like a morning thing, a breakfast mm. thing. Burek, yogurt, that's the Croatian way. But we're gonna have it for, for a post third dinner snack. Post third dinner truffle snack. Let's go try. <laughs> oh, you got the mechanical knife. All right, so this is a burek fluffy pastry filled with meat. So traditional burek. There's only one burek and that's with meat. That's what people would say. Everything else is a pie, <laughs> so. <laughs> I, I can't get tired of it, can you? You can't. Mm. It is buttery, meaty, flaky. This is actually one of the softest ones I've had. Yeah. And crispy, mm. I'm telling you. This dough is so light, but man, that is a rich flavor. But if you tell ask people from Split, uh -huh. the best burek in town, they will tell you here. Is that true? It's called ST ST Burek, and I mean, it's got burek in its name, so. If I it's mean, got burek, you, you know it's legit. It's legit. Honestly, really good. 
I've had some that are a little dry, but this one is light, fluffy, mm -hmm. flaky, and butter. Mm -hmm. If you didn't have four meals already today, <laughs> this would be a perfect dinner. Cheap, easy, and delicious. Do it occasionally. Yogurt, so, yogurt with burek. Yeah. I so know, tra it's traditionally, good. it's for breakfast. Yeah. But we're gonna try it with dinner. <laughs> But grab a bite and then you try it and That's a lot. There's a lot going on there. There's a lot. That's a lot. Do that. And this. Mm -hmm. No. No, you're crazy. <laughs> I like you, but you're crazy. <laughs> tradition is tradition. Yeah, so. I'm gonna skip this one. <laughs> And of course, it wouldn't be a true representation of a summertime food tour in Croatia without finishing right here, as every day should end in a gelato shop. Who's getting what? What are you getting? You getting that? Sour cherries. Okay. Dino, what are you getting down there? <laughs> okay. So much to choose from. I don't know. So much to choose from. Thank you very much. Jackpot! And just like that, this is the final stop of our expedition, our culinary expedition here in Split. And what other way, what other way to finish it but with ice cream, eh? The only way to finish it in summertime in Hot Split. summer day. I went with lemon, Gina went with chocolate. Different flavors, same love of food. And I'm gonna wrap it up here. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. And if you ever come to Croatia, make sure you come to Split and take a food tour with the best of the best. The, all of their information will be in the video description of this video. In the meantime, go get yourself some ice cream and travel deeper. Travel deeper. And Tyler's got some ice cream going on the camera, so we gotta wrap this up quick so he can eat. <laughs> it's melted. Again, and okay, sorry. put it right and then just set it right down. Okay, so start here. <laughs> and just put it down. No, just yeah. it. Okay, okay, like, gotcha. you're, like you're plating it. Like yeah. I'm a waiter. Okay, ready? Yeah. Oh, perfect. That makes it easier. <laughs> Try again. Do you want me to go faster okay. or slower? Okay. Okay. Three, two, one. Shit, wow. that was my fault. Oh, okay. Nailed it. Wow, that was impressive. <laughs> the <That's the laughs> impressive. <laughs> Alright, Tino. What's your favorite flavor? Mm -hmm. I'll keep it simple, just chocolate. You're gonna go straight chocolate? Straight chocolate, yeah. I'm gonna go straight lemon. Straight lemon. After the truffles, I need something uh, to, fruity. to yeah, to cleanse my palate. Do you feel fruity? I feel a little fruity. A little fruity, okay. <laughs> Not real fruity, but just like, you know, light fruity. Not like full cantaloupe, but just a little lemon. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Everything? Everything. Simple food, like mashed potato, and just give it different variation. I want to have a massage with this. Have you ever done that? It. It's aphrodisiac. It is? Yes, it is. Yeah. yeah, so this is a very special place in Split, right under the old town. Here was a scene where Tyrion was talking to the big dragon of Daenerys, um, the, king of the, seven king the queen of the Seven Kingdoms. And yeah, you wouldn't imagine when you see like people selling all the crafts here everywhere. Um, so yes, yeah, Split and Dubrovnik are very, very interesting cities for fans of Game of Thrones. Wait, what happened here though? Tell, do, the, do the move. What did you say? Yeah, I don't remember the exact quote, but he was like Tyrion talking to the dragon like, yeah, don't kill your friend, don't kill your friend. <laughs> <laughs> it's just amazing to see how far this place has come since that time period, you know? Since Tyrion was here with the dragon. Yeah. I'm just surprised the dragons didn't, you know, ruin all of this. Yeah. Pretty nice. They respected the city, you know? They did. Respect your hood. <laughs> <laughs> Is it bad? Don't worry, it doesn't last too long. <laughs> you wash it down. I'll see. Wash it down. <laughs> Brand new. <laughs> it's like when they, a lot of people, they, um, a new trend is they brush their teeth with that, with the coal, yeah, with the charcoal. I'll just tell people I'm doing that. So you start brushing it with squid ink. Now it's or squid ink. Cuddle ink. Cuddlefish ink. Cuddlefish. Cuddlefish ink. New toothpaste. You Coming to a Dalmatian grocery 2023. store. 2023. <laughs>